Well, hi there. I am Sandy Allnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube. And for this World Watercolor Month video, we're going to do a sauna in Copic marker. So a sauna is made of heat and water, so it's going to count as a watercolor video, some coloring water. And this stamp set from Art Impressions is hilarious. It has great sentiments to it, and it has two images. I'm just going to be using one of them and showing you how to make kind of a cloud of a sauna that's going to help to make the, the whole thing really work well. I'm going to use just a few colors, and these are the ones that I am using on this card. Hardly anything needed for this one, but I'm going to show you my new, brand new glass mat that I got. It's Tim Holtz's thing. Um, you can see how big it is. This is not some small thing you're going to move to and from your desk. I'm going to decide over time whether I like it or not. I'm not sure I like the whole idea of having a big black thing underneath of me all the time. But there is this little uh, non-stick kind of mat, and I'm just going to keep it over on the side here and put my plastic sheet over top of it and see how that works for me for now. But this is what I used to use when I'm doing airbrushing or messy ink work, which is the craft assistant. And I wanted you to see it in comparison to this. Some people don't have room on their desk for something and that's less expensive and takes up less room as well. So this is also showing you the size of a Misty compared to the size of this glass mat. And what I'm doing is stamping my image onto my Nina cardstock, but I wiped off some of it and you can't really see it really well for now. When we get in closer, you'll be able to see more of it. But I stamp just part of it, and then I'll reaffirm and stamp a little more ink on the areas that I wanted to really affirm better on my card. And since I'm doing something messy, then I'm going to use the glass mat for the overspray on it and see how it works to clean it off. But first, testing out my color. First, I was using the ends, and then I switched to the C's. You can see the difference in the the color and usually I warm up my finger a little bit so I know what pressure to use with that particular marker depending on how juicy it is or how old your chisel nib is you may have more or less need of of pressure and that sort of thing so you don't want to have a surprise when you spray it on your work for the first time but I'm making a cloud of the sauna around her Notice that I did not mask it out at all because I'm using such a light gray color. Even if I get some of it on her face or something, when I do the actual Copic coloring, you're not going to see it because it's going to blend in any of the color that might be there from that overspray. So we're zoomed in so you can now see the actual stamping and where I had wiped off some of that ink. So it makes it look like she's disappearing into the mist. I'm using an E00 for her base body color. If you're new to trying to blend into white, you might want to use an E000, quadruple zero, something really light as you get out into that area right at the edge. But I found that just flicking my E00 worked fine. You do need to be careful where you're adding your darks because you want to make it make sure you look like you've got some deep shadows in part of the image, but don't get too close to the areas that are going to be in the mist because you wouldn't have shadows really in the mist. At least not shadows of your darkest color, you'll have shadows that are your medium tone. So I put just a tiny, tiny bit of it out there in her arm. And then go back over again with my lightest color. And then I'm going to start using some of my grays to put more of the, the context of the rest of the image. So I'll add some gray shadows in the scale she's on, gray shadows on her towels. And notice her, you know, her the towel on her head just kind of really disappears into that mist. So again, you can use, I'm using a C2 and then I'll switch to uh, C00 to do some of the blending, but you can go lighter quicker if you need to. Just remember that having some darkness, so in the the deepest shadow areas. Having some dark is really going to be helpful in communicating the fact that she's realistic and she's going to pop out of it. You need to have that contrast because the darker she starts to get, the, the more everything looks like mist. Now rather than just having her floating, I wanted to put a floor in there. So she's, you know, standing in the sauna room and I thought I'd put some some tiles down and I did it with a really light marker first so I could kind of get my sketchy idea in there and I'm using some vanishing point technique for my drawing class if you're interested in learning more about perspective but I'm basically just making those lines radiate out 
the horizontal lines of the tile would just be straight horizontals. And as I'm at the edge of the image, I kind of pressed my marker down because I wanted it to feel kind of watery and uneven rather than feeling very regimented because I didn't want to draw too much attention to that floor. Just have enough there that it would feel, I don't know, that it would feel like she's standing on something. And then I decided I was going to make my grid even tighter. So I'm adding another line of color in between each one of those to make it even smaller ones. Now the other thing that I decided to add, I almost ruined the card completely, but I think it's salvageable here, is I wanted that scale to glow. And look at my airbrush, it just kind of went bloop on me, so I kind of had to do a little bit extra to try to fix it. But my masking, I only had to mask out. I stamped her and then just masked out that inside portion so that I could have the red glow from the scale. A few more pounds and I'll be thin enough to go to the gym, which is my motto. So once I'm skinnier, I will go to the gym. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and laughed through it with me. I will see you guys again next time. Be sure to join me on Instagram and Facebook for daily little short videos. And I will see you later. Take care. Bye.